Software Spring Presence How to use NPV in Google Sheets Hi folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on using the NPV function. Part 1. Calculate NPV using NPV function. Let's begin with an introduction to NPV. NPV stands for Net Present Value. NPV is net of sum of present values, of cash inflows and outflows. NPV returns the net present value of an investment, for a discount rate, and a series of cash inflows and outflows. Do not include investment in NPV function. Add the investment, to the sum of present values of cash inflows, to get NPV. Alright. Here is the format of the NPV function formula. It's time to look at an example. Discount is the discount rate over one period. Cash flow 1 can be a sell range address. Cash flow 2, and subsequent cash flows, are optional. Add cash outflows, like investment, to sum of present values of cash inflows, to get net present value. Going forward, here is the objective of using the NPV function. To calculate the NPV for a discount rate of 7%, an investment amount of rupees 25,000, and series of income of rupees 5,000, 6,300, 7,000, 9,300, and 12,000, in year 1 to year 5 respectively. Ok, let me type the investment data here. Let's type the NPV function formula in this cell. First, type equal to N P. Select NPV. For discount rate, click this cell. Type comma. For cash flow 1, select this range, ensuring not to include the investment cell. Type the closing parenthesis. Press enter. To get the net present value, add the investment amount of the NPV function output, by typing the plus symbol, and clicking this cell. Press enter. Alright, this is the net present value of the investment, for this discount rate, and these income amounts. To remove the dollar symbol, first, click this cell. Click this down arrow. Click number. Part 2. Calculate NPV using PV function. NPV, is net of sum of present values, of cash inflows and outflows. NPV can also be calculated using PV function. Here is a demo of the calculation of NPV, using the PV function. If you have not used the PV function, please refer to the PV function tutorial. The present value of the investment is rupees 25,000. I will calculate the present value of each cash inflow, using the PV function. Before copying this formula, down these cells, I will make the discount rate absolute by pressing F4. Finally, I will calculate the NPV by adding the cash inflows and outflows.
The NPV calculated using the PV function, is the same as calculated using the NPV function. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.